it's Katie, nice to have you here. So I'm continuing my Ghibli series today and this time I'm doing a scene from Kiki's delivery service. I wanted to share with you my sketching and painting process and I'm also curious about how you would approach a piece like this. So feel free to leave a comment or critique as you feel. So characters are not my forte so I start with a basic outline and shapes and slowly refine as I go along. When drawing characters I do find it really hard getting the facial proportions, expressions and anatomy correct, so you'll see Kiki's face change quite a few times here as I correct as I go along. It does also help to use lines to guide where the eyes and nose would be, and I had to change the angle a few times as well just to make it look like she's looking at Gigi. This did take me quite a while to do and in the end I was happy with someone who resembled her, though it wasn't really accurate but that's okay. I've really enjoyed doing this Ghibli series. It's been really challenging, but there's a lot of points to take forward, such as the importance of setting, mood, and how small details can add a lot to the narrative. Without knowing anything about this film, you can clearly see a bond between the characters by their expressions. There's the element of magic, and with the bag she's carrying, you know there's some sort of purpose for the trip. The sleepy kittens here are my favourite part, and they were so simple to draw as well. Smushy little characters are my favourite, like Gudetama, you know, the lazy egg. These are the sort of things I want to create once I've levelled up, so I'll just keep practising until then. So on to painting now, I'm using Arteza's Premium Gouache and N. Graham's Titanium White, because you always run out of white. In theory, you should be able to mix any colour using the primary colours red, blue and yellow, but getting the balance right was really time consuming, so I referred to back to normal habits early on. Doing things like mixing greys using purple and yellow instead of white and black was one of the best tips that I got during A-levels. But colour matching is still really tricky and you can see I made multiple attempts here and just opted for the closest one in the end. The rest of the painting is just painting within lines, which I find really satisfying to do and quite therapeutic as well. Moving on to lines, I'm using a 0.05 drawing pen. This moment is always quite tense because you can easily mess up. Gouache is very opaque though, so it's not a problem to just paint over parts and try again like I did in quite a few areas. I want to spend more time drawing and sketching, so the rest of this piece is just going to be line work. It doesn't look as warm or as inviting as the coloured version, but it's still really fun to do. This brings us close to the end now, so do let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you want to see more sketching videos, then do give this a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you can support me and my work by subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.